just when you think your turf is off to a good start, this happens. My brother asked me to come over his house and to find out why the grass died in this entire area. As you can see, it's bad, but it's not impossible to fix. A little detective work is needed to find out the cause. First question I ask, what has been done to the lawn over the past six months? Well, a pre-emergent was applied in the fall, a few bug treatments here and there, no fertilization. Now, because the past couple weeks has been rainy and very humid, he went ahead and applied a fungicide, which was a good call. I had to do my own investigation to find the cause. The turf was checked and found no bugs. I used a moisture meter to see if the soil was saturated. Reading on the meter showed it was very wet. Now I purposely did not edit this portion of the video just so you can see what I saw at the time of this reading. And you can see here, it is extremely wet. I checked in the same area, but in a different spot, same result. Again, I did not edit this portion of the video. And you can see the needle. The needle is all the way to the right, which means it's wet. If it was to the left, it means the turf is dry. I moved to a different part of the turf that was unaffected and the reading was not as wet. And as you can see here, the needle is pointing towards the middle, which meant that the turf was moist. Next, I took my soil probe to see how wet the soil is. I was able to go down very deep and the entire soil was wet. So wet, it crumbled in my hands with very little pressure. I determined the cause was from a downsprout, which was sloped towards the area. It may be hard to see, but you can see the angle. Plus the mulch was moved whenever it rained and it pointed towards the exact same area. The fix was simple redirect the water towards another location where the land sloped towards the street. Next, we had to repair the damage. We had to remove all the dead material and aerate the area. I used a manual aerator to try to poke some holes in the ground, but the soil was so wet, the cores actually got stuck in the aerator itself, but that's okay. The whole point of making the holes is to allow more air to get into the soil. This in turn will allow it to dry up much faster. Once this was done, we took potting soil and applied it evenly over the entire area. Potting soil has much less debris than topsoil and has a little bit of nitrogen to get things going. We smoothed out the area as much as possible, then we fertilized. The goal is to force the Bermuda to reach in. Also, the entire area was not a complete loss you can still see signs of green in the middle of the dead spot. We also did the same exact method in the back, removing dead material, smoothing out the potting soil, and fertilizing. Because Bermuda is self-repairing, there's no need to reseed. The only thing we need to do is avoid mowing the area for a couple weeks. I expect this area to be 60-70% to 70 filled in about 4-6 to six weeks. I will post an update. If you have a situation where you have a bald spot or dead spots, find out how it happened and fix it using this method. Remember, the bigger the spot, the longer it will take to fill in. Now, repairing the spot is one thing, but it's very important to find out the cause. You see, if you see issues on your lawn where the lawn is struggling or you see dead spots or bald spots, find the cause. I notice a lot of situations I run into is from water runoff from the downsprout. Now there's no question your grass needs water to survive. The problem becomes when your grass gets too much water and if the water is not free flowing and it just sits there, air is not able to get down into the soil. You see, your turf needs to breathe. So too much water all at once will start to suffocate your grass. What you're gonna see is yellow spots and over time, those spots will become thinner and thinner until you have bare dirt. Remember, fix the cause. And in this case, the cause was water flow. So we redirected the water to minimize the damage on the turf. Once the cause was eliminated, in order to encourage the Bermuda to grow, you have to clear away the dead. Once you clear away the dead, you apply potting soil and fertilize. And with time, this area will fill in very quickly. 
remember Bermuda is self-repairing. This type of repair can be done on your Bermuda if you have struggling spots, bare spots, brown spots. I posted a video earlier about Bermuda spot repair. It is the same concept just on a larger scale. I hope this information was useful to you and thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later.